This is an All Sports Station production. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, we are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels, and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Complete to open things up. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. And now the Chiefs offensive starters. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Stop cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. went 3-4 they got some push from the inside and this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed how about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. 
And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 39. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 39-yard line. Now Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Yellow, yellow. 20. Baby. Throwing quickly, Mahomes gets this out to Watkins. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. to throw once more this is caught and he doesn't quite make go, go, it taking go, go. it within an eyelash go, go. dropped at the one and a nice gain of 21 yards well he did everything but get him in the end zone there but now they're set up golden opportunity strong opening drive and they're knocking on the door and the way that they did it now look where they are on the field all right this is naturally set up for a running play isn't it but with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Yellow, Back yellow. at the two I'm now. The Here's second and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened. But think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And in the end, it was all capped off by the Damian Williams touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny with the offensive coordinator? And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Matt Breida, 71 yards, as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Williams. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. some movement before the snap and we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon and maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump I think if we saw it you know that they saw it might have been a little discussion down there bad guys come and pick them up pick them up and someone jumped they'll run it now out of the gun they get one yard back there to make it second and 14 
We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On second down, Williams. Only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Mahomes now already over 100 yards passing in this first quarter. It's first and 10. Williams. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Second and nine, Mahomes. He'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. 23 yards on the play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. from the gun, Mahomes, and this will be incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Mahomes now to throw. This is caught, Watkins. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Nicole Hardman there to make the grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Second down, a run with Breida, and the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And let's take a look at the defensive starters for Kansas City. Tyron Matthew has a cornerback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. This is Breida on the draw. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Time now for Patrick Mahomes as we put him in our player's spotlight. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What's that Fly? you love? What's that oh, you four love? verts. Four verts. Yeah. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that's caught left side. Seals Jones with it. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space... He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Just like that. Just like that. They go play fake. Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Now Williams. 
Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Mahomes going to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. It's caught at the 10. And he's taken down, but not before go, go, go. reaching the 10-yard line. And that goes for a gain of 31. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You can fill up your lungs <laughs> a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Hey, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Throwing now is Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Butker able to put this one through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Let's go, boy. Bring it up. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
Nowadays, many defensive lines are coached to play the run on their way to the quarterback, and that's exactly what they did. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Breida. Fighting through. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Third and two, and they ran the ball for only one yard, and everybody's going to scream at the offense. But let's give a lot of credit to the defense on that play. Defensive front out leveraged the offensive line. They got more people to the football. Yeah, they won that battle in a big way, and they're forcing a big decision now by the guys on offense. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much Hello. doing this or he keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. The Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. From the 31, Mahomes. He's got Watkins on the out route. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yellow. 
Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. Keep playing hard. Let's get it. From the 17, Mahomes. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Complete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away, and it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now Sammy Watkins and the rest of the offense getting set to go again. He's been really good in the yardage category, yet to hit the end zone, however. Yellow, 
a minor blemish against him right now because the work he's doing catching the ball, in some ways he's helping serve as good ball control because the big plays that he's making have really helped out his team. Absolutely. They're winning on the scoreboard here in quarter number two. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. On second down now, it's Williams. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The Chiefs on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That's it, baby. That's it. That's it. Big hit. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. Here's the Chiefs punter now. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a gain. Second and four. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll set up a throw. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw now on first down. It's caught by Roberts. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Second and 10. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. He'll look to throw. Looks to throw, fires right side, and that's going to be incomplete. 
The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, That'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He's not gonna get me. Now here's Mahomes. Throw right side gonna be caught by Seals Jones. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. This time they stay on the ground. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. To throw, it's Mahomes. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of 9 on first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Mahomes again. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. On third down, here's Williams. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people... And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report.
Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. They run again with Breida. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit, boy. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. I'm coming after you. They'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. the shotgun, Breida. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Once again, they run with Breida on first down. Bashad Breeland, the one that got him down. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Set, hut. Mike, 44. Hey, man, hey, man. Watch the boot. Watch the boot. <laughs> On play action, they'll throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. 
who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They'll drop the throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, on, just shy let's of the go. 20. First target, first catch, and a first down. Now, coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On first down, here's Breida. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breida. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Mike, set. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Here we go, deep. Now back to throw. It's complete to Graham. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll set up to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. He'll drop to throw. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki there to make the grab as his guys are back within a single score. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this is back to a five-point game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was pump the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. That one goes for 24 yards.
This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. This one out quickly to Watkins. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? From midfield, here's Mahomes. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Pressure comes, and the Dolphins block it. And they'll wind up taking over right around their own 40-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see, love we'll it. see if they dial it up this drive. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. You must be, you must be getting tired of seeing me. <laughs> they run with Breda. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 32. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Run it, run it. 53 is the mic. Run, run. Get the run it. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And it's caught by Parker. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. Little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They'll look to throw here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. 
This is Breida. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. This is Howard on second down. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now back to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Sanders kick is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They begin the drive with Williams. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. 65. On second and nine, Mahomes. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This will be third and five. Now here's Mahomes. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. I don't need 
these two. Fire on these two. Oh, Here we go. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Chiefs on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and 16. Now here's Mahomes. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Mahomes will bring him up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, he's had a good number of carries. He's just been unable to really break off anything substantial. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Oh, yes, this is what the good ones do. He used his legs to buy a little bit more time rolling to his left, and at one point, he flipped the switch from passer to runner, and he got a pretty good gain out of it. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Not able to get a single yard there. And it'll bring up third down. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Now here's Mahomes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. On the delay, here's Breda. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. Here we go. Two little Here's a second and seven. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and seven. 
They'll set up to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. We got this. They convert on third with a gain of 22. throw and he's taken down a chief sack Frank Clark it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him and on that one the protection just broke down you've got to have that leverage don't you we always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman it's essentially the same thing in pass protection get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and five. They're going to look to throw. It's complete to Graham. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Two big plays in succession, and the Dolphins on the move. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. Now it's Breda. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. delay it's Howard and that didn't fool anybody he's going to be dropped in the backfield now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a dolphin shaken up on the play we'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium Third and five. This will be the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Brought in over the middle by Graham. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. zone now they'll look to throw and he's got it and he'll be taken down at the two yard line on, another go. big hitter there this one good for 18 
And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They'll look to throw here. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it, the fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead is up to five. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Six. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 44 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, but now it's third and goal. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone.
So they went to the booth to see if that was a touchdown, and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. Six points off the board. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now it's Mahomes again. And it's caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And no, it's incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. So obviously that one really hurts not to be able to convert. But this one's not over yet, Charles. Look at the clock. And then also two timeouts still left for him. And if I'm coaching the defense, I think I'm going all out. And what I mean by that is nothing but pressure packages going at them. I'm going to force them on offense to kind of gamble a little bit because I will leave openings, all right? You can sting me, but how often will they want to do that? They're going to want to run the ball and bleed the clock. I'm going after them, hoping to make a big play. And in a sense, three timeouts were that two-minute warning looming. Great note right there because it was the two timeouts. They get a third one back. They still have a chance. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Second and nine now. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the handoff, this is Breda. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Now it's Breda. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. gain there to make it second and nine I like that run right there partner not the flashiest run not the one that's going to break for big yardage but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount and he got it done nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here 
Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.